Hello folks, it's Kane and welcome to Kane's Corner. Today, I am doing a mod installation video that's a little bit more advanced than my previous one. Now, the reason I'm doing this is the Xbox Game Pass installs mods in a weird location. Like, if you guys remember in 20.4, I think it was, there was an update note that said it was now, I think, in app data roaming seven days to die instead of the game folder mods. The game folder mod still works right now as of this video. But as of Alpha 21, it will be looking in the new location. And I found that we can install it somewhere completely different. And we're going to be covering that. So I'm going to go to my D drive and I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it seven days to die mods. Just like that. Right. I have got several mods downloaded here that we are going to be using as examples of what will and will not work. So since I'm a moron who made Darkness Falls, we'll start with Darkness Falls. So we'll make a folder for that. And as you saw, I already opened the zip file and I'm clicking on things I shouldn't be clicking on. And for God's sake, go away. There we are. Right. So we'll do that. And I want the icon file because I'm going to use it for my custom shortcut. So we'll give that a minute to, you know, decompress, and then we'll come back to it. Okay, there we go. That's now all copied. So we go to this, and with Darkness Falls, you want this EXE file, not this one. Any other mod, double-check the installation instructions, see if you need EAC or not. So we're going to do right-click, send to, desktop, create shortcut. If you're on Windows 11, you may not see this option. If you don't, I'll just do that to clear that. When you right click, you'll have a different menu, but then right down the bottom somewhere, it will say like more options. And if you click that, you then get this menu. Okay, so that's just for Windows 11 users, but we want desktop create shortcut. We now have our shortcut. Okay, we can also close that because we do not need it. Now, the info I have I need, I have saved in Notepad. So I'm just going to rename that to Darkness Falls. If I now click on Notepad, I have that there. So it's dash user data folder equals and then a path. So I'm just going to select and copy that. And then right click on this, select properties. And then right here, I'm going to do paste. Okay, so that is now at the end of 7 days I'm going to go back to this folder where I installed the mod. Now, if you click on that there, you get the full path. Copy it, which is just control C for people who want to use shortcuts. And then we just delete that there. So it says user data folder equals with nothing and then paste and click apply. Okay. And we can minimize that and close that. That's now done. So now if I run this, it should run darkness falls. Obviously, the loading will differ depending on your system spec as well. Right, there we go. There's Darkness Falls, or it seems to be. To test it, click New Game. Now, because you're pointing to a custom folder, you won't have a profile, so your custom character won't be there. I'm just going to pick him because I like the Mohawk, and then... That is completely fine for a test. So we just click start and wait for the game to load. All right, here we are. So we are in game. It has loaded absolutely fine. Everything seems to be okay. We'll have a quick look at the console. No errors, just the usual sort of warnings that the game always has. So there we go. We know Darkness Falls works. So that is fantastic. And that, as I said, is running from a completely separate folder. Now, if we go back to that folder once the game has exited. There we go. Right. So there's the mods folder. It now also stores our saves in here, which makes your saves much easier to find. Okay. So we'll go back to that folder. Now, I do have more mods here, as you can see, which I am going to be using for testing and explanation purposes. So if I open Ravenhurst, Jax, sorry you're getting used as an example, but you're one of the few mods I could think of that does this. 
We go into that. Now, there's a file there called BEP in EX. If a mod uses that, this method will not work at all. Okay? I want to be absolutely clear on that. As far as I know, this and Undead Legacy use BEP in EX. I don't know if the Winchester does or not. I'll have to check with Wookie. But those two definitely do. This method will not work. So, you can't do this with Ravenhurst or Undead Legacy, definitely. Now, Romero mod just has a mods folder. So, we could do the same thing. We could do Romero, if I spelt it right, mod A20. Open that. Drop the mods folder in. Doesn't take very long. Now, I think, in theory, we should just be able to go copy, paste, and then we can rename that to Romero mod. So you don't even have to go back to your original folder, and then you just change the end of this. Just right-click properties again, because I just realized I did that a bit quick. So you just do that, and then apply, OK, and run, and this should run Romero mod. There we go, it looks like it does. Let's make a new game. Again, I'd need a profile because it doesn't exist. Uh, we'll use Navas again as a test, that's completely fine. Okay, we're in game, everything appears to be fine. We haven't seen any, any errors, there we go, moving around. Again, the usual warnings, that's fine. If I do that, there's Romero mod, so that's all working. So if we now go back out of the game, and we can now try the same with joke mod, which is made by one of my testers. So we do folder, joke mod A20, open joke mod, open that, drop the mods folder in. It takes a little bit longer than Romero mod, but still less time than Darkness Falls. There we go, okay. And now we just do that, copy, Paste. So we've now got a copy of the shortcut. We're going to that to joke mod. And then we do properties. And then we just change the name on the end there because, uh, to joke mod A20 because that's what I've called it in this window here, as you can see. Apply, OK, and run. There we go, there's Joke Mod splash screen. Let's do the same again. Quick test on Navas Gain. All right, and that's booting up. Oh, interesting. That threw a load of errors. Ah, Texture's not yet finished downloading. Okay, so that will be something in the mod that actually needs to be fixed, but it does, it does load, so... Sorry, Rizzo, I've given you work to do. Unfortunately, it does mean you can't actually get to the fucking main menu to kill it, so I'll have to kill it manually. So we'll just do that and close window. Thank you. Please be gone. There we go. But that error, if you get that, means the mod needs updating because we used to use something like app, file, blah, 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 to load textures, and this method doesn't work with that. I had to update Darkness Falls and Romero mod to fix the problem so they will work. But we've proven that it works in theory with Joke Mod. It also works Darkness Falls and Romero mod. It'll probably work with War of the Walkers if the texture loading has been updated. Um, I'm pretty sure you could also use this to run vanilla with just a load of modlets in just a, a customized modlet folder in there if you wanted to. I haven't tested that. If people want me to, let me know. So... I think that covers everything that I wanted to cover for this video. Questions, comments, criticism, you know where the comments box is. If you're a wanker, I will ignore you, so you've been warned. Other than that, hopefully this will help people. Like I said, you can now run several mods from one copy of the game, and, you know, only three shortcuts. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, I'll see you in another one. Cheers.